Okay, hi, I'm Laura Lynn. I'm the voice behind the camera. And this is my sister, Rebecca. Hi. And she came up with this different way to tie our Seiko sandals that doesn't involve anything around the ankle, which some of my friends complain about. And also means you can slip it on and off and you don't have to adjust it all the time. So, show us. Okay, so you're going to put it through the toe one, whatever that's called. And you're going to tie this on your foot. So you just twist it a couple times. And then you're going to go through both sides. Then you're kind of want to make right angles with the strap. And then you're going to twist it on back on itself. I twist the longer side four times and the shorter side three times. But that's why you for my size, so. Which is a size nine. nine. And then if it's looser than when you started, then you can just kind of tighten it. So then you're going to take the opposite strap and go underneath, pull it through, and do the same with the other side. So it pulls the two together and then it goes behind like this. And then you're going to go do the same thing on the back. You can do it as tight as you want. And you want them to be kind of even when they're done and about three inches left. So you might have to twist one more than the other, depending on how it worked out. So, there, that's pretty even. Close enough. And then you're gonna go through the front one and come up through the middle of the two. And same on both sides. And then you're gonna tie a square knot. And leave some room in the middle, so you make kind of a circle. And if you have a lot left over, you can tie the knot again. And it actually works a little better. And then you take your sandal off and push the knot through the hole in the middle. And then kind of do where the hides the tie bow thing, but the knot is showing up in the middle of the circle. So when you put it on, it closes the circle up. But the bow is hidden. Very fancy. Oops.